Welcome to the Iron Mountain Preview Show. I am Beetleborgs, and we are going to talk about some of the matches that are leading into the first live show of the year. And when I say live, I mean fully live, as in in-universe mode, no editing. And we're going to go over some of the matches that have led up to the show. First off, with this match between Phoenix and Dougal McLeod as Phoenix would be the victor in that matchup, getting a pinfall win. And th these matches were to determine who was in the main event at Iron Mountain. And there were going to be two, possibly three matches. Phoenix would win the first match for the Cruiserweights, and then we would head over to the following week in a matchup between Delvin McLeod and Inti. Delvin would start the match off strong, but the big man, Inti, would soon take over and power his way to a victory, winning the match by pinfall and tying up the series between the heavyweights and the cruiserweights, making it 1-1 going into week 3. So in week three, both contenders, NT and American Phoenix, would be facing off. And the winner of that matchup would get the main event spot at Iron Mountain. And both men really, really wanted, wanted that spot. That main event prestigious spot. And NT even left his cronies in the back for this matchup. As he would get the early start. NT powering through American Phoenix early on in the match. And then as the match continued, Phoenix would start to gain a little bit more momentum. Using the stamina game that the Cruiserweights have. And Phoenix would end up winning the matchup and securing the spot, that main event title spot, for the Cruiserweights at Iron Mountain. And then the following week, his challenger, Delvin McLeod, would have the main event match in week four against the California Kid where if Kid would defeat Delvin he would make his way into a five man matchup but before the match could start American Phoenix would come out to the ring and sit at ringside with us to watch the matchup as you can see Delvin was more focused on American Phoenix than he was on his challenger that night, the California Kid. Phoenix using full advantage, taking full advantage of those mind games. And as the match would go to start, Delvin would run straight into a drop kick from the California Kid. As the match wore on, Delvin did end up getting control. But as he was fully in control of the match, Phoenix would then would then convince him to exit the ring and the two would face off. Upon at which time California Kid would take advantage and punch Delvin in the face, throwing him back in the ring. But that wasn't all Delvin was able to fight back as we see he was able to deliver a ferocious suplex to the outside and he would uh, eventually California Kid would take advantage of a distracted Delvin McLeod and California Kid would win the match guaranteeing himself a spot 
in a five-man match coming up this weekend, or tomorrow, I should say, at Iron Mountain. So the first match that we're going to talk about is this triple threat between NT, Demolition, and the champion, Dougal McLeod. And then we have that five-man ironclad contract match where the winner gets a contract to face off for the Cruiserweight World Championship, which is featured in the main event of the night between the Cruiserweight World Champion, Dublin McLeod, and the challenger, American Phoenix. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to lead into a one-on-one -on -one matchup tonight featuring the number one contender and you can hear how happy the crowd is right now showering this man with their affection I mean they're calling him a boo how nice is that actually I think they're just booing him but I had to at least try they are booing the heck out of this man and he is the American Phoenix the number one contender for that cruiserweight world championship. Phoenix and Delvin have had their battles in the past and this is not the last time these two are going to face off. They actually have a matchup scheduled later on in the month at a CPW pay-per-view no escape where the cruiserweight world championship will be on the line again so, regardless of who wins this match, these two men are slated to challenge for that title again later on. But Delvin is saying that he is going to walk out the champion. He sounds very confident in that. Although, Phoenix has been talking some trash lately. Saying that he is going to walk out as champion and he is going to prevent Delvin from regaining the championship later on in the month and here comes the challenger of tonight's match Arthur Duncan Arthur was part of a fatal four-way last week and he won the fatal four-way and the four men in that fatal four-way are Four of the five men in that ironclad contract match later tomorrow night. So Arthur Duncan not one to shy away from a fight and not one to sh to have a lack of stamina when it comes to fighting in the ring. Well, this should actually be a very good contest between these two men. Okay, referee, let's get this match underway. And American Phoenix just suplexed Arthur in the middle of the ring and another suplex by the American Phoenix showing why he's the number one contender for that cruiserweight world championship and why he deserves that title shot tomorrow night live at 5 here on the channel and Arthur Duncan is taking back control Duncan picks up Phoenix. Phoenix gets out of the way, throws a clothesline, and is now stomping Arthur. Arthur able to get up. Arthur and Phoenix throwing punches back and forth right now. Seeing who... Oh, and Phoenix wants nothing to do with Arthur. Phoenix rolled out of the ring. He's headed out. He's done for the night. He's got to keep himself ready for that pay-per-view. But wait a minute, Delvin McLeod! Oh! Delvin throwing Phoenix back in the ring! And Arthur Duncan is laying in wait, and Phoenix has an answer for him, though. 
Phoenix was ready for it. Phoenix going for a kick. And Iris whip into the corner. He was gonna go for a spear, it looks like, but Arthur is able to get out of the way. And Arthur with a submission. Oh man, look at the torque on the hand. Arthur back on the attack. Phoenix able to roll up by getting slammed on the ground. Phoenix kicking Arthur. And Phoenix with another round of suplexes. Another round of suplexes. And Arthur not knowing what to do. Arthur Scott Phoenix up. And oh, what a head smashing of the turnbuckle. Phoenix able to get out with the kick to the head. Phoenix with a back suplex. What a match these two are putting on. Phoenix able to get out. Oh, we're running into that elbow of Arthur Duncan and Duncan with a flurry of punches. Arthur Duncan picking American Phoenix up. Punches him in the face. Oh, what a neck breaker. Arthur going for the pin. One, two, and a kick out by American Phoenix. As these two are throwing everything at each other right now. Arthur, now waiting for something from Phoenix. What's he gonna do next? Phoenix able to block and a counter. Phoenix back in control. Arthur now in control. Phoenix with the counter. These two have each other scouted. And Phoenix, this could be it. One, no, only a one count. Arthur, no selling that attack. Phoenix going to the top rope. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> what a maneuver by American Phoenix as he goes for pin. One, two. And Arthur able to kick out. These two throwing everything at each other. Arthur knows a win over a former cruiserweight world champion would prove he deserves to be a contender for the title. But Arthur has a chance tomorrow night in that ironclad contract match against four other men. A five-man elimination match. And Arthur throwing a punch. And another neckbreaker. Arthur going for the pin. One, two... Only a two count as American Phoenix is able to get out. And Arthur working back on Phoenix. Going for some more joint manipulation. Let's see what Arthur can do. Arthur's calling for something. And Phoenix walked right into the Dragon Tamer. But Phoenix was too close to the ropes and Arthur had to let him go. Arthur going for a pin now. One, two, only a two count. Gotta do a little bit more to put American Phoenix away. As Arthur thinking of something, but Phoenix with a reversal. And Phoenix picking Arthur up and slamming him down. So the American Phoenix has the match wrapped up. Or so it looked. Arthur with a counter and a takedown. Arthur in a flurry of punches. Rolls out of the way. Just picked him back up. And a counter by American Phoenix. As Phoenix. Planning on something but Arthur with a counter. And Arthur. Oh! What a suplex. Or a shoulder breaker by Arthur. And Arthur spinning Phoenix around the ring. Around and around he goes. How many times? Nobody knows. And Arthur going for a pinfall. One, two, and a kick out by American Phoenix. 
dazed and confused though from those spins. Phoenix just allowed Arthur to put him into a submission, but got out of it. And Arthur, Arthur needs to do something right now because if Phoenix gets on a roll, especially if he hits that suplex, it's over. And Phoenix now calling for something. What does Phoenix have planned? A two clotheslines and a drop kick. Phoenix is feeling it right now. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. We could be seeing the end of the match right now as Phoenix goes for the pin. One, two, and a kick out by Arthur Duncan. This match isn't over yet. And Phoenix, nope, Arthur with the counter. Arthur going for something else, but American Phoenix able to kick him off. Phoenix picks Arthur up, Arthur with the counter and a headbutt. Arthur with a European upcut that misses. And American Phoenix taking, a, taking control again. And American Phoenix going back to work on Arthur Duncan as he's got him in a submission hold will Arthur be able to get out of this nobody knows Arthur able to power out of the submission by Phoenix and Phoenix looking like he might try a suplex but Arthur able to get out Arthur with an Irish whip and a suplex this could be it ref count already one Two! Two! Only a two count. Ref, you could have counted that on the other side. That was... I, I can't believe we just saw that. This referee needs to go back to referee school. As Arthur Duncan was robbed out of a win there. That was, that was a three count. Even though he only got a two. And... Arthur going for another pin, this time the ref ready, but Phoenix had enough time to recover and was able to get out. And Arthur with a takedown into a submission, but Phoenix too close to the ropes and got the rope break. American Phoenix going back to work on Arthur Duncan now after that horrendous call. And only a two count for that pin. And Arthur getting back up. But he got right back up into the All-American Slam. One, two, three. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, American Phoenix. And let's take a look at some of the replays. Here you go. American Phoenix hitting... A slam, Arthur with that crazy spin in the middle of the ring. He almost put Phoenix away with that maneuver, but Phoenix was able to kick out. And Phoenix getting fired up, going for another pin, but Arthur would have kicked out of that one. And there was that bridge pin that was a three count, but the ref took too long to get down and count. Arthur did get robbed in this matchup. And here we are, folks. It doesn't matter whether, whether Arthur got robbed or not. Here is your winner, the American Phoenix. Delvin McLeod, watch out. Phoenix is ready for you.
and Melissa really taking advantage right now of Jen Corso, but understandingly, Jen is having trouble after that attack at the beginning of the matchup by Takako and Tina. And Jen really working on Melissa right now, trying to get her to tap, but Melissa was able to get out of it. And Melissa is in enemy territory right now. But she's able to get out of a sticky situation. And Melissa in control of this matchup. Melissa dragging Jen to the center of the ring. And... Oh! What an attack! Melissa is getting ready to do something to Jen. Slams her head into the corner. Jen, Jen is in enemy territory right now. Jen's now trying to get Melissa back into her corner. As Melissa trying to fight out, but Melissa now in enemy territory. And Jen and Kitty get a tag. And Jen and Kitty are now attacking. Are now attacking. Melissa and Kitty trying to work on Melissa but Melissa able to get out Melissa back in the corner again able to get out again with a roll up and a slam onto the mat what power and Melissa now Irish whipping Kitty into the corner Kitty able to get out of it Kitty back on the attack and Melissa not letting Kitty attack throwing her into the turnbuckle going for the tag here we go oh what a double team by these two a Hironikana into a power bomb and Kitty is just spent right now but Kitty able to fight out in a clothesline and Kitty drags Carrie into the center of the ring. Carrie able to counter and get up. And Carrie with a Irish whip into the corner. An Irish whip to the other side. And a kick to the midsection. And what a kick that was. The athleticism of Carrie Ivy is amazing. And Carrie picking Kitty back up. And Irish whipping her into the corner, and we're gonna see a double team attack by these two. What insane, an insane amount of stomps being delivered to Kitty right now. How she's even able to hold herself up in that corner, I, I don't know. And what a vicious drop kick in the corner. As Kitty rolls into the center of the ring. One, two, only a two count. I don't know if I were Kitty, I would have stayed by the ropes to try and get a rope break out for that attack. I wouldn't have rolled into the center of the ring. But, it, I guess, in the moment thinking probably is what caused that to happen. And Kitty getting ready for something. As she taunts and goes for a Frankensteiner in the middle of the ring. And Kitty calling for something after that Frankensteiner. Looks like a belly to belly suplex right into the center of the ring. One, only a one, not even a one count actually. Broken up by Carrie Ivy. Kitty hits an inverted DDT and Carrie Ivy rolled out of the ring. And now it's just Kitty and Melissa in the center of the ring. Kitty with a spear. And she's setting up to attack. Oh, what an attack in the corner. Kitty picking Melissa up. Melissa able to get out of it. Melissa going for a... Oh, wait a minute. No, Kitty with the roll up. One, two. And Melissa able to kick out. 
as Kitty goes to pick Melissa back up to do something else. Uh, Hirata Kana in the middle of the ring. And Kitty is in for full control of this match. And she just suplexed Melissa into the center of the ring and into the ropes. And wait a minute. Kitty and Jen with some stomps of their own. It's almost like they're mocking their opponents. Copying the same exact move that they used. Wait a minute. And a drop kick in the corner. And now Melissa rolls into the center of the ring. It must be just a reaction that these ladies have. Don't roll the other way, but roll, roll into the center. Hmm. That's very interesting. And Melissa with a vicious drop kick to Jen. And the referee is back up after the chaos that just ensued in the middle of the ring. And now Jen knocked out from the ropes. Melissa going for a submission of some sort, but Jen able to get out. And Melissa... Melissa back on the attack. Vicious DDT. Center of the ring. Going for the pin. One. Two. Only a two count. Kick out by Jen Corso. And Melissa just taunting Jen after that. Jen completely exhausted. Not getting up. After kicking out of the pin. And now Melissa copying the attack of Kitty from earlier. Both teams mocking each other in this matchup. And Jin going for a submission. Melissa able to kind of roll out. But oh, wait, never mind. She rolled right into a joint manipulation. As you see, Jen just working on the arm. And Melissa grabbing her arm right now after that attack. And Jen is back on the attack again. Contorting the arm, continuing to work on the arms. As you can just see, Melissa in pain in the center of the ring. And Jen calling for something now. Don't get up, Melissa. Oh, what a kick. That's the kick that won them the match last week. One and a kick. Or the fall was broken up by Carrie. And now Jen, almost like she was going after Carrie, decided to get back in the ring instead and focus on the match. And she hits another one of those vicious kicks. And she goes for the pin again. One, two, and it's broken up by Carrie again. And Jin now taunting the crowd. Taunting the crowd because she knows she has this match wrapped up. A couple clotheslines and a drop kick, a single leg drop kick to be exact. Melissa able to counter though. She slams Jen onto the mat. One, two. A near fall kick out by Jen. And now Melissa tags Carrie into the ring. Jen able to counter. Picks Carrie up. And throws her over the ropes into the out outer part of the ring. And now Jen going for some kicks, but Carrie able to counter. And Carrie with a double arm DDT to the floor as Jen could be knocked out. Carrie Irish rips Jen back in the ring. And Jen able to roll through and slam Carrie onto the ground. And Jen. He's looking for something. What a kick! And Carrie is out of it. Jin going for the pinfall. 
One, two, and a kick out by Kerry Ivy Rodriguez. As Jen goes for a tag, and Kitty is now the legal competitor in this matchup. Kitty with a submission. And Kitty back on the attack now as Kerry able to get out. And Kerry with a hip attack. And Kitty back on the attack now. Kerry and Kitty just throwing everything at each other. As Kitty had Kerry in in enemy territory. But uh oh. This is it. Oh! What an attack by Melissa. Kerry dragging Kitty back into the center of the ring and back on the attack as Kerry Ivy Rodriguez is in full control of this matchup. As she sends Kitty into enemy territory. And it looks like what is she setting up? What is Carrie thinking right now? Oh my god! Don't do it! Don't do it, Carrie! Don't jump! Oh my god! Coast to coast! Oh my god! What an attack! And Carrie going for a pinfall! One! Two! Three! And ladies and gentlemen, this match is over. Your winners, Carrie Ivy Rodriguez and Melissa. And this matchup will go a long way for these two as they are a young rising tag team here on Octane. And this could very well earn them a title shot at the Women's Tag Team Championships in the future. We will have to see what the Octane higher-ups have to say about that on the next episode of Octane Live. As these two put on a clinic. What a match and what a preview show as now we are going to transition into the actual matches themselves or we're going to transition into talking about them as you can see we will have Iron Mountain tomorrow night at 5 the first match of the night is that men's ironclad contract match followed by the triple threat for the Octane Heavyweight World Championship. Then a tag team match in the men's division. The Octane Women's Championship will then be on the line. Followed by the tag team war. And then the women's ironclad contract match. And to follow everything up, the main event between Dolvin McLeod and American Phoenix. So here's the card, here's the time, Iron Mountain, live universe mode stream, Friday, May 10th, tomorrow, at 5pm Pacific. See you all there, thank you for watching the show, and this stream is done. Thank you.